Hey, good evening, y'all. It's Anthony Mitchell. Alright. So, I was at Walmart tonight. And I asked some little, the little, she's probably like 20, early 20s. You know, the lady at the self checkout line. I'm like, hey, would you open and learn about an opportunity to start a business? She said, nah, no thanks. And like I said, over the last couple of days, I've been hearing this a lot. All right, if you think you're secure because you've been with an employer for a long time, keep thinking that. Look at all the people who got let go because of the whole COVID-19. Like, just because you're with an employer and you've been there for a long time does not mean you have job security. I mean, look how many restaurants, gas stations, fast food joints, donut shops, coffee shops closed during this whole COVID. How many people went out of business? Sears used to be the biggest re um, re retailer around there, around. They went out of business. Hey, so many different stores are closing down. But people got the naive concept they have job security because they're with a a name brand company I'm sorry that's wrong stop thinking you're safe because somebody else owns the business if you want to take control of your life start your own business make your security you rely on you to pay your bills get paid for actually adding value and doing something instead of trading your time for money. I, I know everyone in this world is afraid of changing because most people got the whole dumb concept of from when, from the time they were born, go to school, get taught how to become an awesome employee, go to college, and get a good paying job so you can be an awesome employee of somebody else. No. Don't get me wrong. Hey, I was a pretty good student. Still got kicked out three days before graduation. Got my GED, joined the Army. Got my associates in sports medicine because I was a personal trainer at the time. Then I got my bachelor's in a hybrid of sports medicine, psychology, and business. And I learned absolutely nothing about running a business from my business degree I got from Kaiser University. But what did teach me how to run a business was starting and failing at a few. I started with the personal training business. I went, worked at LA Fitness for a little bit, got fired from that, well, I quit that because the manager pissed me off. Then I went independent and I got sick of trading my time for money and it just wasn't, most people want the results but they don't want to put the work in to get them. It's just like your finances. Most people want the results, but they're not willing to put the work in and take to achieve them. That's why so many people have a typical nine to five job. Because they like the paycheck, but they don't like having to work for it. That's why they get a nine to five job where they just sit at a cash register or do absolutely nothing, and they still get paid for just trading their time for money. I don't like that concept. That's why I got in the network marketing. Well, actually, that's why I got into sales at first with health insurance. Then I got into network marketing with the credit repair, which I still do. <sighs> then I got the network marketing of um, health and wellness products. Then I got the network marketing of selling life insurance. And I got my life insurance license. I said, don't get me wrong. Sales is the one skill you need to learn if you want to be an entrepreneur or a business owner. You have to know how to sell. And it is the fastest way and the most surefire way of achieving financial freedom. That's why I love network marketing so much. Because it gives you a low initial investment to get started growing a business. You make your um, initial investment to get your basically franchise up and running. 
you get your um, agent code, which is basically your business. You get access to the back office. Then you start going out and selling your product or your services. And look at this way. If the company's been around for a little bit, the products and services have to be good or the company will still be around. And then on top of that, like I said, on top of the products and services you sell, you get to sell the dream of helping other people become business owners and taking control of their own lives. Like, so if you want to change your life or um, get true security in life, stop trading your time for money, stop making somebody else's dreams reality, and start growing your own business. Take control of your income. If you don't produce, if you don't sell, if you don't recruit, you don't make no money. But when you do, it's nice. Because most companies, especially in network marketing companies, for every um, individual you help, either becoming a business partner or starting their own business, or becoming an individual that uses and benefits from the services or products you offer, they have incorporated a fee into it to compensate you as the rep or agent representing the product or service or the company. So look into it, y'all. Stop letting other people dictate and write your story in life and take control of your life. Hell, if you got a 9 to 5 job, that's the beautiful thing about network marketing. You can grow your business per time. And then when your part-time income exceeds your full-time income from your 9 to 5, that's when most people transition to going full-time with their um, network marketing business. I said, like me, I'm still, I don't know, part-time, because I still do other things to help fund the startup of my business. As I said, bills don't stop coming. I still got to pay rent, still got to pay my phone bill, my insurance. So with all that, I still need money. So I still do side jobs to make money, which gives me the opportunity. That's why I love my business. Because while I'm out making money, doing my little side gigs, I meet more people. I share the opportunity and the products and services that are offered by my company. So I get to grow my business while at the same time making money. Anyways, y'all, decide today to take control of your life, start writing your own story, and start a business. I'm pretty sure you've been um, introduced to enough opportunities by enough people that, hey, just do some research, see which one's right for you, and get started. Because you don't have to be great to get started, but you do have to get started to be great. Anyways, y'all, subscribe to my channel. Have a lovely night.